Hello and welcome back to the shed. In today's video, we're going to be sharpening the humble card scraper. Hope you enjoy. In its most basic form, the card scraper is a piece of metal that can take shavings off timber that a hand plane would struggle with. It's a very versatile tool, and now we're going to get into sharpening it. So, to sharpen a card scraper, we first need to know exactly what a card scraper is. I'm going to use this piece of wood to demonstrate. So we have a card scraper like this and we have it squared on the edges. We just have a straight piece of punched steel. What we then do is we use a burnisher after we've, sh we've made sure that this top edge is filed flat and we run it back and forwards over the top to start conditioning the steel. We then condition the sides the same way. Then we come in and we work it down to about a five degree angle like this and we're forming a little curl or a curve off the side and that is what takes your shavings. So let's get in here and I'll show you how to do this. So first up you're going to need a card scraper like the one I have here and you're going to want a piece of wood that's got a kerf in the middle that you can sit it down into because this takes all the guesswork out of this process. And it's the best process I've come across. So you push it down so it's barely above the surface like this. Then we put it into the vise. And we use a single cut file and we draw file it. Now, what this has done is made sure that the edge of that piece of metal is square across because we need that for the curls. It's dead flat across here because we've used the wood as a reference and then just filed across there as it's left a little burr from the file. Now, because we want to condition and roll a hook on there, we don't want that, so we need to remove that burr that the file's created. So you can use any stones. I like to use a diamond stone for this, so you don't dish out your water stones or anything, but it, it doesn't really matter. This is just a 1200 grit diamond stone, and you're just gonna file it back and forth like this. until that burr is gone. You can feel for it with your nails. So now that's done, as I showed you before with the piece of wood, we now have that dead square angle, two flat side, two parallel sides, with two 90 degree angles, which is what we need. Now we put this back into our holder and we have it just above the surface again. We then use what's called a burnisher here, and they come in various shapes. A long one like this is probably the most common one you're going to find. Um, short ones, I've seen flatter ones. Little tools that actually are already bedded at the angle and you just pull them straight across. I've never used them. This is what I use and this is the process I go, go by. So we take this rod and just like we were draw filing, we run back and forwards on the top here like this. The piece of wood just ensures that we're keeping it pretty flat. So we're doing this about 30 times. Then we can take it out of the holder and put it on the bench like this. So we come back in here. I like to snug up on if you've got one of these long ones and you just run it flat like this. It's about 30. Do the same on this side. pick the card scraper up, we put it back in our holder here, and we're just going to estimate about 5 mil above the surface, because that's all that's really needed. And that's going to determine our angle of about 5 degrees when we use the burnisher. So you can see here I've now got this held back in the holder here. We use our burnisher, which is just a hardened piece of steel which is harder than the steel that we're turning the burr on. Now we go back and forwards and slowly drop it down to the edge of that piece of wood. And then we do the same on the other side. And now our burr should be turned. So let me get a piece of wood in here and we'll give it a test. What I've got here is a piece of pine that's already got some, some finish on it. 
bit of a film finish and a bit of jarrah. So first, we'll put the bit of finished pine in here. Now, to use a card scraper, you just put a little flex in the middle and you run in the center of it. So we can see that this is slowly taking that finish off. It's quite a hard finish, so the hook gets a little caught up on it. But we can see that this is taking some very, very, very fine shavings off. It's not dust, it's shavings. And that's how you know that it's sharpened properly. And because we did hooks on both sides, you can actually turn it around and use the other side. So now I'll switch the jarrah in, and we can have a look at the jarrah. And on the jarrah, which is a nice hardwood, we can see we're getting very fine shavings as well. So, there you have it. You can see that it's pretty easy to take some small shavings with a piece of metal with a hook turned on the end and that it's not too difficult to do. When it comes to burnishers, I find it's actually better to get a proper burnisher to do the job. Some people out there on the internet say that you can use the shafts of screwdrivers or spanners and things like that, except you don't know how hard that steel is. And in the past, I've tried it with screwdrivers and it didn't work. So I think it's just best to stick to the proper burnisher just so you don't have any annoyance when it comes to turning the hook and you know that it's actually going to work. And one last thing is, with your card scrapers, because you have a rectangle, you actually can sharpen both sides of your card scraper and then you'll have a cutting hook on four corners. So you'll go quite a long time of using the card scraper before you need to resharpen. All you have to do, if you find it's not taking a shaving properly, is move to the next hook. So I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw in this video, please consider liking and subscribing and checking out my link to my Patreon page in the description below. I'll also leave a link to the burnisher and a couple of tools that I used there if you're looking for one of your own. Bye for now.